time immemorial, the Ansharian Empire has maintained a firm yet just hold on our galaxy. Peace, prosperity, this was all the people of Anshar had ever known. But it didn't last. The planet became consumed by famine and conflict. Between resources and population, it lost its balance. It was then, during the Age of Expansion, the people came together and began to extend their reach into the outer rims, into the unknown, establishing permanent mining colonies to support its apex. Once again, Anshar flourished, but at a cost. Conditions in the colonies were deplorable, and soon the colonists rebelled, seeking their independence. The galaxy was again at war. For four long years, the separation wars raged violently, without mercy. Countless lives and planets were lost. Yet it was the Ansharian Empire that prevailed in the end, forcing the colonists' surrender. Peace resumed, ten years' worth. But now, something else stirs from within dark space, beyond the edges of the known galaxy, a growing power. The darkness of a threat long since forgotten. And so Anshar calls upon her sons and daughters, and we, Squad Alpha 10, are once again needed. Welcome aboard, trainee. You're embarking where few have tread before. Squad Alpha 10's existence is officially off the record. We do what no one else can and we do it well. Expectations for our newcomers, as you can imagine, are intense. The truth is, most don't survive. You want in? Prove yourself. We've tracked a small contingent of Nergal attack ships en route to our sector. You're flying the Hurin fighter, the only fighter ship of its kind. It's faster and bites harder than any Federation standard you'll find. Protect the mothership. Show us what you can do. Riser out. yourself with its controls. Okay, let's take a look at the heads-up display. Great, now the real stuff. Shoot your first laser blast. Excellent. Time to test her speed. Launch the Super Booster. The Huron Fighter is equipped with missiles as a secondary weapon, as you can see at the top of your HUD. Let's try it. Missiles low, pilot. Grab more from down fighters. Comms live. This is Lieutenant Desbeer. Nothing like a live battle to showcase your skills, eh, pilot? This is Tango. We're picking up multiple enemy signal stairs. You want to be a part of Squad Alpha 10, pilot? You'll have to survive an attack from the Nergal. Nastiest space warriors the galaxy's ever seen. You've one objective. Protect the mothership. Good luck. You'll need it.
you're in fighter. Let's take a moment to familiarize yourself with its controls. Okay, let's take a look at the heads-up display. Great, now the real stuff. Shoot your first laser blast. Excellent. Time to test her speed. Launch the super booster. The Huron fighter is equipped with missiles as a secondary weapon, as you can see in the top of your HUD. Let's try it. Congratulations. Comms live. This is Lieutenant Desbeer. Nothing like a live battle to showcase your skills, eh, pilot? This is Tango. We're picking up multiple enemy signals, Des. You want to be a part of Squad Alpha 10, pilot? You'll have to survive an attack from the Nurgal. Nastiest space warriors the galaxy's ever seen. You've won objective. Protect the mothership. Good luck. You'll need it. Herdsherian High Command has traced leaked intel to the grid. A colonial repurposed prisoner of war space station in the Lorian asteroid belt. These transmissions originated from what our techs are calling crude radio frequencies from someone imprisoned aboard the station. What's more, whoever's sending these messages claims to have information about the disturbances we've recorded on the edge of the galaxy. Agents are undercover on board the station, ready to extract the prisoner as soon as the weapon systems are disabled. Excellent. We're patching directly into your ship through the wormhole. Signal's good. 
Our agents have smuggled them off the station and are waiting for a go-ahead. The Nurgal are vicious when provoked, so be quick. That's the grid you're looking at, pilot. The Nurgal have armed and supported by the station to house the prisoners. Where is getting the signal out? They're using radio waves there. Radio waves have been used in at least a millennia. It's all very strange. Parameters are simple, pilot. You'll have to collect enough of an electrical charge in order to deliver an electromagnetic payload in the grid shield system. To do that, you'll need to lay the pulses of those mining drones working in the Lari belt, cutting up those asteroids. Once the drone is destroyed, you extract their charge. Easy enough, but be careful. Get close enough, and they'll start ripping into your ship. Once you're within range and have the necessary EMP charge, we'll have to disable the station shield generators so you can take out those turrets. Otherwise, it'll be a pretty short-lived escape for our agents aboard. From there, we're home free. Good luck. And be careful maneuvering. The bell can be a tight squeeze. Like Lieutenant Des said, those mining drones have no range weaponry. But if you get close enough, their balls will slice through your ship like warm butter. But we need their latest electrical charges to power your EMP. You'll be like shooting fish in a barrel pipe. Destroy those mining drones to collect their EMP charge. Those mining drones have no range weaponry. But if you get close enough, their balls will slice through your ship like a thunder. But we need their latest electrical charges to power your EMP device. You'll be like shooting fish in a barrel pipe. Weapon has received first charge, pilot. EMP at 20%. Sure, the pulses would even work? Not entirely. Jeez, 